All right, everybody, welcome back to Ether Bandit's Garage. Today, I figured I'd make a video on my toolbox. So this is a US General, I mean, Harbor Freight 44 inch toolbox, I believe. It, uh, I got it. I got it at the beginning of January and it's now April. So three months review. I, uh, personally, I love it. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. I started with this little five drawer, also US General, and it has treated me very well for over, gotta be at least five years. I'm leaning more towards seven or eight, which I still use it. I have a little bit, but I've kind of gotten most of my stuff transferred over to this, this big one. And, uh, I mean, it's a Harbor Freight one. Thing is, though, is these, these Harbor Freight ones still are not cheap. But I figured I'd give you a little tour of what it is, of what all, how I have it organized. Because whenever I set this thing up, it was very difficult for me to figure out where to put stuff. And I've had stuff here for three months, three-ish months. And I really like my layout that I have. So, uh, starting off in this top drawer... This is kind of just like a random junk drawer. I have some sandpaper O-rings. These are these are also from Harbor Freight. Like seven dollars for three hundred and eighty ninety seven and three eighty two. Worth their weight in gold because anytime you need an O-ring, it saves you a trip to town. The next one are punches, which I have two two deals of punches in here. Just two. They're both Harbor Freight ones, but honestly. For $15 or whatever, for either one of these, you can't beat them. Because I have been wailing on these. And, like, the, the chisel points are even still... That one's taken a little bit of abuse. And so is that one. But they've held up a lot better than some of the other punches I paid good money for. Here, I have uh, ratcheting wrenches. These are some gear wrench sockets I won four years ago in a contest. I lost my half inch and I replaced it with this one. I like the angled ones that are reversible than the flex heads because as the flex heads get old and wear out, they no longer stay like bent. And so it's like you pick them up and it just flips down and it's a pain. And then with these, it's like easy and reversible. This is just a big Mondo set that my brother got me. And I mean, Anytime you get those out, you just feel really cool, let's be honest. Here is the uh, the Dewalt drawer, which I do have more Dewalt tools than this, but these are just the ones I keep in here. I have a speaker that uh, I can run off 110 or a battery. And I bought, I did end up buying a, a Harbor Freight power strip, and I took both the plastic pieces off, and this is wonderful right here. Because I have my fast charger plugged in, and then I have the speaker plugged in. It's nice. It has a USB. Charge my iPhone. And then it's magnetic, so I can move it wherever. They're like 30 bucks, and they're worth their weight in gold. Because I just wired a little plug in there, and it works wonderful. And here is a uh, the paper towel holder. The magnets could be a little bit stronger, but it does its job, and I love having paper towels right next to the door because I love to work outside, and I love to work inside the shop, which it's really messy right now. I, the oak trees are losing their leaves, and it is just killing me. But uh, some of the, my favorite tools that I have is a... Uh, the little 20 volt 3 8 drive impact. This thing will take lug nuts off my truck. And it's really compact. Um, for wiring, if you're going to do a lot of wiring, just go ahead and pick you up one of these. They're about $100 on Amazon. They're so nice for heat shrink. Uh, shop lights. I love all these because they all use one battery. And I have seven batteries because there's one on my grease gun, one there. Four more here, and then I have another one in the truck on my half-inch drive impact. And then I have a drill, 
the light. I love the lights. I've had one so long, I burned it up and I, I loved it so much I bought another one. I mean, it's just absolutely a must have. My uh, most recent purchase has been this 20 volt angle grinder. Gotta say, I was blown away with the amount of power it has. Which granted, I mean, I do have some pretty, pretty good sized batteries which help. But it has it has a lot of power. It has like I would put it up against a corded angle grinder. Not in runtime, because they're pretty hard on a battery, but in just amount of power for what it does. And for the little short stuff I do here, it's perfect. Like I could not be happier with buying this. And then uh, I also have more random junk. I got some files, tire gauge. My gasket scraper, razor blade, grinding wheels, electric tape. Just the junk that's like you never know where it's going to be. And then I have my screwdriver, my Phillips right here. My flatheads right here, which I really don't know. Which this honestly goes up there. I really don't know if I like where my screwdrivers are, but I know I like them being separate. That's the thing that I missed about this one. Which I'm sh whenever I get a bigger shop, I'm sure I'll use this one as my roll around to projects. Is you put your screwdrivers in these holes and on that side, and that makes it really nice. <coughs> but I really like having all of my tools here, just because this is honestly a more centralized location. And who doesn't like? I mean, who doesn't want to come open this toolbox every five minutes? Here, I just have a collection of pliers. These uh, Irwin vice grips, the best pliers you will ever own. Because I love how they're adjustable, and then you can just do that, and they're stopped. You just press the button, they go down, you slide them up, they're in, they're in position. I have a bunch of them. See, that's a big pair. This is a little pair. I think there's like two pairs in my truck right now. Just a great thing to have. Uh, the next one is probably my favorite drawer. This is my socket drawer. I have half inch, three eighths, or half inch, three eighths and a quarter inch drive, standard and metric. I really don't do a lot with metric, so I really don't use these, but these are just a dream to use. I mean, so the, uh, the quarter and halves are just Harbor Freight ones. My brother found this uh, Matco set, Matco ADV, 3 8 drive set on the side of the road. And it was missing a couple sockets. We found a couple more. And this is like honestly one of the best things. I wish I would have had this a long time ago. I have a nice SK set. But using it with my little 3 8 impact was kind of kind of hard on them. But these are just like, they work so well. And I never thought that it would matter that much. But whenever, once you use these, it like ruins most sockets. Like here's a snap-on 3 8 drive set that I have. And it is, it's a really good set. I love how thin the sockets are. But I guess just because I use my little impact so much, I go to these before I go to this set. Another thing that you really can't sleep on is the old Icon Ratchets. The Icon tools from Harbor Freight, they're pretty pretty high dollar. I mean, they're, they're expensive, but it's the saying, if you get what you pay for. I have this Icon Ratchet and this Snap-on Ratchet, and because that Icon's a little bit longer, I will grab this one every day of the week, just because I, I don't know, they feel exactly the same in my hand. They're just as smooth. I've I've had the, the snap on one for years. But I just I don't know. I got this one for Christmas. And I've really enjoyed using it. And so I have mine organized. 3 8 drive socket wrenches, extensions, and a couple adapters. And then this is my half inch drive. I have another icon half inch drive ratchet. Um these are the uh, Hansen socket organizers. And I will say the painted, some of the painted Harbor Freight sockets don't really fit well on them. 
the not painted ones, I don't know what these are. They all fit great, but those don't. I've been looking for a set of the non-painted ones, and I was going to throw those in the pickup. Because it's always good to have a nice socket set in the truck, you know, because I never know what I'm going to get to into at least. I mean, I just have a tack from an 830 here, but I have my quarter-inch drive stuff here. It helps organize it and separate it, which I didn't do this at first, and I really like doing it now. And another thing you might notice is I have all my sockets flipped upside down. I didn't have them flipped upside down, and now that they're flipped upside down, I won't go back. I really like them like that. I think it's all up to each other, but I, that's the way I like it. I did uh, invest in a uh, Icon half-inch drive torque wrench because I had a, a powerhouse one. And it was good, but it only went up to 200 foot-pounds, and I needed 250. And I bought it, and it is that is the nicest torque wrench I've ever used. Uh, but I, just personal opinion, I did get the flex head. It won't flex completely, and I really like that. I wish I could buy a partial flex head like that one in a regular ratchet, because that would be pretty much all of my socket wrenches. The next order of business is the uh, clutch extra long combination wrenches. This is my standard set, and then this is my metric set, which... This set is a couple years older, and this one's a couple years newer, and you can tell, like, they got kind of chintzier, or maybe it's just the metric versus the SAE. I have used these so much, and, like, the thing is, is they're extra long, which is kind of a double-edged sword. See how much longer this wrench is than the other one, even if you put them like that? You don't really notice it until you're trying to take stuff loose. And then you're like, wow, that is pretty tight. But I like to live on the wild side. So that's what we do. And I uh, I did have more pry bars and pipe wrench in here. But we're kind of in the middle of a couple projects. Tools just go everywhere. Here is my uh, SK set. This is a wonderful set. If you ever need a, a socket set. I love this set because it goes up to uh, seven eighths deep and shallow, and then it it goes up to uh, just nineteen, but it doesn't skip any sizes. And I'm really not worried about metric just because all my stuff is pre-made in China, and so it, I really only use standard. And I love, this is like a great beginner set. They're kind of expensive, but they're worth it. They're, they're extra thin. I, I would recommend this set highly. Other than that, I just have like Allen's and Torx bits in here. And then just kind of some junk. That's a piston ring compressor. In here, I have a three quarter inch drive socket set and then a wrench set that goes up to two inches. These are also from Northern Tool, they're clutch ones. I haven't managed to do any damage to them yet, so they can't be half bad, but I don't work on this stuff every day with, with these nuts this big. So it's just six to one half dozen to another. They work pretty well for me. And then uh, this, I'm kind of calling this my air tool drawer. I, I have a couple air tools, my puller, hole saws i don't know i really they don't fit in any of the shallow ones so they just kind of wound up in here i have a couple more air tools but they're in they're in my other toolbox yet and so i just haven't moved them over here is the old socket set that was given to me and i just think it's pretty cool because it should it has like really odd sizes like 11 30 seconds like you can see all the random sizes it has just because of how old it is. And I, I wish I had all the pieces to it. This was like one of my great grandpa's. It's a really cool set. And I just, I don't know. I like these old metal boxes. This is a, uh, a sharpener to sharpen your chain on your chainsaw. I really, I have old uh, steel 038 that I like to sharpen my blade every now and then whenever I use it. Here's my drill bits and 
its drawer, nut drivers, and just two empty cases. Crescent wrenches. These little Nipex pliers wrenches are cool because they're like an adjustable wrench, but it's not like a regular crescent wrench. And so you can put it on a nut and, uh, and then you can clamp on it. So it's like you can loosen it and you can like, see, you can turn it and then let up and spin and then grab it again. They're really cool. I've been more into using regular wrenches lately. That's why I haven't really had them out, but I think they're cool. And then here's just my hammer drawer, which I also have my hatchet in it. It's just a great, great drawer to have. And I like how it's like, you have your, your main tools you use, your sockets, pliers, hammers, and wrenches. But I, uh, I hope you, I mean, and honestly up here, I just kind of have junk, couple gloves, just random things that it's like, you never know when you're going to need, but never hurts to have like some, uh, emery cloth, just all good stuff. But I, I hope y'all enjoyed the, uh, little overview of my toolbox and didn't mind me talking this whole time. We'll get to working on something next video, but I just forgot to take a moment. I know I was really curious to see how this toolbox would hold up, and I really love it. In fact, I uh, I really want a big, they make a tool cabinet that, that's like a little drawer, and then I would move my uh, cordless tools into that and move my charger in there and stuff. Maybe one day, but alrighty, y'all don't have too much fun. We'll see y'all next time.